Hey guys, so this is the next video and I'm going to be doing a review on Rebel Spring, the second book in the Fallen Kingdom series. Oh my god, okay, this is going to be spoiler, so just so you are aware. Basically, probably all my views, reviews are going to be spoilers. I doubt I'll ever be able to do one that's spoiler free because I really don't know how to do that because I need to talk about this to somebody. Anyway, so, wow. <laughs> I am so in love with this series. Like, it is literally probably the most excited I have been about a series since Harry Potter, and so that is a big deal. Anyway, so, this was, wow. I just, I cannot believe how things ended up and how, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, mm, I think my favorite character is Magnus. I don't know if that's a popular or unpopular opinion, but... Magnus. Oh my god. I love him so much. He's just bae. I love him. He's such an asshole sometimes, but you can tell that he's got a good heart. He just doesn't know how to break free of his father's grasp, really. And just, like, I just, I love him. I love him. I also really love Cleo, though, because she's gone through some major character development. Because at the beginning of Fallen Kingdom, she was, like, a spoiled little motherfucking princess that really didn't care about anybody but herself. And then now... She's, like, caring about everybody. She's basically lost everybody that she's ever loved. It's making her look at life in a real way, and she's just undergone some great character development, so now she's become one of my favorite characters. She's just, she is fabulous. I love her. Um, I really don't know if I like Lucia or not. I like her at some times, and then at some times I really don't like her. She's very confusing, honestly. I love Nick. No, Nick is, like, Oh my god, I love him. He is awesome. Like, honestly, the reason why I was so excited um, <clears throat> um, to get Gathering Darkness and read that uh, after I finished this was because of Prince Asher kissing Nick, and I wanted to know what was gonna happen there. I was so, like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> like there was a ton of other stuff that happened that was, like, so intense and crazy that would also make most people want to read the next book, but that was, like, I was, like, I don't care. I just want to know what Nick and Asher are gonna do now. Like, I am so ready to know about this, how Nick feels about it. Like, <laughs> that's all that was on my mind. It was so funny. But, um, but a lot happens in this book. Honestly, it is crazy but yeah um wow I don't even I don't even know basically like and like Jonas leading his rebels into all these deaths and everything it's just like what are you doing I don't understand and like Cleo and Magnus like getting married like Wow. I can't believe that. And, like, losing all the rebels at the wedding and just everything was crazy. Yeah. <sighs> but this was a really, really good book. I gave it five out of five stars. I'm probably going to give every Fallen Kingdom book five out of five stars because they're just that good and amazing and wow and just... <sighs> And I also really love the fact that Cleo is befriend that Cleo plans on befriending Lucia so that she can use her to get to the kindred so she can crush the king of blood. Yes, die. I can't wait for his death. I don't even know when it's going to happen, but when it happens, I'm going to be so excited. Basically, it's oh, here's an here's a spoiler for Queen of Shadows. If you have not read Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Moss, like, press mute. Okay. Okay. So, this is, it'll basically be the equivalent of when Erebon, the King of Assassins, dies in Queen of Shadows. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Now, if you muted, on mute. No more Queen of Shadows talk. Okay, I was trying to over enunciate, so if you were reading lips, you would know you can unmute. Yeah, that was really pl poorly planned out. Oh well. Um. <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, basically it's gonna be that equivalent. I hope he dies. Let him die, please. 
But, yeah, um, okay, now this is probably gonna be an unpopular opinion, but I do not like Lestranda at all, really. She just really frustrates me, and <clears throat> it kind of sucks because I see that she's supposed to be, like, a badass character, like, she's a female character, she's a rebel, she's badass with a crossbow, she's, you know, all that good junk, but, like, her personality just pisses me off. Like, she's so annoying, honestly. She's just really freaking annoying. Every time I have to read a chapter in her perspective, I'm just like, oh my god, why, 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 why? <sighs> it just makes me mad. I don't know. She makes me angry. But, what I don't get is like... <clears throat> I don't know, like, the whole Jonas Cleo thing, I just don't get it. Because at first I was kind of excited about it, and then now I'm not, and because I shipped something else. Anyway, I'll talk more about that, because I'm about to do a review for Gathering Darkness as well. I'll talk more about what, what my other, my more prominent ship is. Oh, okay. Here's what I was trying to find this entire time. I know, I've been flipping through the book and you're like, what are you doing? And it's like, because I wanted to find this. The <clears throat> chapter in King Gaius's freaking perspective. Can we just talk about this for a moment? Because I'm like, I'm like happily over here, like reading the book. Like, yes, I love this book. I love it. And then I get to this and I'm like, what the fuck? I hate this guy. I don't want to read this stupid chapter in his perspective. He pisses me off. He's such an asshole. Like, I do not care to read anything that has to deal with him. Like, just go away. Thank you. Bye. But, so, but I was like, I can't just skip this chapter because I'm sure it's important. So I read it and I was like, wow, are you fucking crazy? I was so excited because it's like so different. <laughs> So like, because it's weird to read something in his perspective, but to see that he's actually been talking to an immortal and that she's the one being like, um, telling him what to do and everything and stuff. And then the fact that he plans on doubling, double crossing her is like, you're an idiot or something because you're not gonna, you're not gonna live. <laughs> but yeah, I just think that. This book is just really good, and King Guys this is just a stupid asshole, and I don't like him. But, I just really love this series. Every book is just so good. I just want to read them all in one day, because they're just that great. You can't put it down. They're just so suspenseful and good, so... <clears throat> Yeah, but again, I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. It was amazing. I highly recommend you pick up this series and read it, and, and you will love yourself for doing it. 